Believe it or not, tomorrow is May 1st, so we thought we would celebrate with a fun spring tri springtime tradition that often is lost in the rush of our busy lives. If you want to brighten someone's day, a May Day basket is the perfect way to spread some springtime joy. Miranda Husky is with the Museum of Visual Materials. She's here to help us make our very own May Day baskets. Gary, did you make these? When you were young I was just thinking this a long time ago that I did this. And who would you make them for? Well, that was the thing. It's like when you're, you know, seven, eight, nine years old, the goal was to make them, and then you know, maybe a little girl that you liked in school, right? Oh. And so you'd run and you know, put them on their door. I it's thought like, boys like were mean to the girls that they liked when we were younger. Not this guy. <laughs> oh, no, I was, he was the I was romantic sweetheart, guy. romantic guy, right? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so Miranda, are you so. still seeing these Mayday baskets as kind of a popular tradition? Yeah, I think kids just anytime they can get crafty and do those little creative things, right? Something that's a little extra and, and different. And I think spreading love. Kids love to just spread joy. And honestly, if there's candy involved. You know, they can have the leftovers. So right. So is the whole tradition still that you know, put it on the door, knock, and run away? Yeah, knock and run away. You know, but I think too, if you know, it's grandpa and grandma's house, right? Let's do that. But then yeah, you do it right, exactly. Right. Yeah. All right. So what are um, we are making one today? Yes. I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of different ways you can make yeah these baskets and put in and stuff. But for what we're doing today, what do you need? What are the materials? Yeah. So we have paper plates, pipe cleaners. Um, and then colors, okay. markers, whatever you want to use, uh, stapler, three hole punch scissors, and then filling. So we got some tissue paper, some candy, okay. and real flowers if you want. These are fake ones, but uh, yeah, real for that flowers. special sweetheart, I'm going to put flowers yeah, in mine. So. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so, what's the first step? <laughs> Perfect. So, well, well, actually, here, I'll have you do this. Cut a, cut it. So, this is what we're going for. Kay. So, just cut it in half. half okay. Yeah, there you go. And then if you want to color. Okay, color the, my back. Color your background. Yeah, and you only okay. have to do half of it. So, the, yeah, these are crayons right, I that are. I figure out what like colors crayons. I want to yes. do. So, you just, just fill in the whole thing is what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You really, I mean, you, you don't have to go all the way down because yeah. it'll yeah. cover up. And then on yours, we'll use this side so that it kind of has okay. a little bit of a pocket. Well, these are color pencils. They are. Yeah. Yeah, well, have I you ever seen that. those before? No, I have not. But yeah, and then you <laughs> can so just on this side, right? I mean, you see our different options, right? So, you can do. Happy May Day, or color it in, whatever you want to do. Okay, so, you so can I do should that just side. write it down. Yeah, whatever. Can I use this color because it matches my dress. There you go. <laughs> so what, what's the history of, of? I mean, do we know what how May Day started in this tradition of of doing? Yeah, May you know, baskets? I think I think it's different between the cultures, right? So I I was doing some research, and you know, May Day was a big celebration of flowers and dancing and singing, and I think in the U.S. we just really like to give gifts. So. Yeah. I think that's kind of the, the transition into these big baskets. We do small ones, but yeah. there's also bigger ones. Well, I know, I mean, because I was thinking about that. We, you know, it, it was that some of the presidents uh, mm -hmm, way pictures. back of way back in the day, right? Look how big. Yeah, that is. I mean, these are May baskets, right? Yeah. I mean, they're huge, and I mean, I remember actually having May baskets. Like we didn't do stuff like this, but that's Eleanor Roosevelt back in 1938, and uh, First Lady Grace Coolidge. So, the, yeah, that the first ladies were really good. And, I mean, look at those May baskets. I mean, those are real May baskets. So, but these are fun, though, to do real. it this way, too, though. So, okay. Yeah. So, do you need, so what do I need to do now? You want to staple. Oh, okay. So, he's got to staple like that. Okay. Yep. And then, but you could use hot glue gun, tape. I Don't mean, bring those around again, Miranda. Yeah, I know. Don't. I, I, was I can't handle nice. those. So, why is, when doing these crafts, I mean, say if someone watching, one of the viewers wants to do this at home, why is it good to get doing these little projects, you know, as like a family or bringing some friends over? Well, I think anything for, especially children, to engage that creative part of their mind is fantastic. And that's what we do at the museum. We have a whole craft corner that just lets them have access to a whole bunch of different materials, just, I mean, any type, any type of things, and just let them run wild. And I think that bonding experience between the family, right, the parents and the, and the child, um, it's just good interaction for children. Gary, you, we are sharing this. We have to agree on colors, and you're not oh, allowed I to make it Vikings. No, I didn't <laughs> say I was going to do that. It's like Vikings and um, Green Bay. I yeah, look see? over and I see he's coloring it yellow no, and purple. My high school colors were this too, This Brittany, is so. both of our basket. We need to um, have an agreement. I was going to make it like a sunshine. Okay. Is what I, was doing. I, didn't think, I wasn't thinking football. I'm sure, I'm sure. This but is a sunshine. <laughs> there you go. And then the next step is to do the three hole punch. I'll let okay. you do that. All right. And you just kind of want to do it so it has so some you good. Put it through the. Yeah, through this right little part there. So, okay. I haven't used one of these for a long time either. <laughs> I'm pretty 
bringing new tools. I know. It's just like you're bringing back so many fun memories for me. Right, you want to pick a color? Yes. If I could spend my day just making crafts, right? We're going to do green. Like at Miranda's job. Can I do two and twist them? Oh, yeah. And yellow. Good idea. Got to add some Packer spirit to this. Yeah, and then all you need to do is fill in whatever you want. I mean, you can make this as crazy or as yeah. simple as you want, but yeah. you can use bigger plates. You can use those decorative plates, you know, that, that are already have the pretty designs on them. I mean, it's really just run wild. And, I mean, I remember doing using cups growing up, like a little yeah, Dixie cups. Yeah, like a little pail or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So. And this is, I mean, the purpose of it, again, is just to bring joy to somebody's life, right? Well, it's, it's not spring. anything more than that, and it's like, let's celebrate. Yeah. Let's celebrate that it's warm. Yeah, Where well, do you well, get well. ideas for different ways to make these mini baskets? Where do you normally get your ideas? Um, you know, Pinterest is mm -hmm. kind yeah, of the go to aid for any crafting. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, Pinterest um, or other um, websites. Like, we actually visit Hood Magazine a lot. Okay. And we work with Steph from there. And, I mean, they have great ideas and we share some of our fun things. So, I think it just depends on whatever, you know, wherever you find your inspiration from. Do you, mm -hmm. have, do you have events that, you know, you come down and people do things like this? or Yeah. Somebody... Yeah, so we ha we'll have May Day activities tomorrow. So we're open from 9 to 4. Okay. Um, and that's for um, all families. So yeah, whatever. Fun. And then we also, you know, normally have our craft night, too, for adults. And they're not these as <laughs> simple yep. What will the adults be making? Um, I'm trying Is to remember. It's, it's, a, it's not. It's a photo frame okay. um, that you kind of can paint and okay, decorate cool. different ways. So. Different ways. So now we got to put in some tissue paper. Yeah, oh, you put want in tissue whatever in you it? want. Tissue. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to if you don't yeah. want to, but you can no, cut it up for or it. Yeah. fold Let's it over. Whatever you right. want. Yeah. And throw in um, some flowers. Like I said, you can go get some real ones. You can buy some from your uh, favorite florist and right. stick Make those in there. Grassy looking yeah, it looks like grass. There you go. And yeah, there's leaves. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of taking this over here, but I'm I having know, a little bit of fun. I know, we're going to let it. And you here. can even take like these types of flowers and glue here, them on. You do Look at that. Then. Okay. Gary, you've already finished it. No, I haven't. You can put yeah. more flowers and stuff in. <laughs> uh, here I am wrecking it. Okay. Well, that's a, yeah, if you use lighter candies, you know, you yeah. can. Yeah, really that's a pretty big, so pretty big candy bar. bar in there. It's so. an adult size bar. It's an, is it? Yeah, yeah. it is. So. No, that's there simple. Look yeah. at this, the finished product. How cute. Yeah, oh. it looks great. <laughs> Big flowers, too. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for yeah, coming thanks, in and Miranda. teaching us how to make it. Yes, these. you're welcome. Thanks for having so us. So much fun. Yeah.